Hello, I'm Miles Tails Prower. Introduction to the Physics of Fluids In physics, a fluid is a liquid, gas, or other material that continuously deforms under an applied shear stress or external force. They have zero shear modulus, or are substances which cannot resist any shear force applied to them. Recall the elementary concept used in chemistry, that solids have high density, as well as the atoms are tightly packed. In liquids, the density becomes less, as well as the atoms can move but with least distance. And in gases, the density is very less, as well as the atoms are free to move. In physics, we also call as fluid dynamics, that describes the flow of fluids, namely liquids and gases. For the basics, let's consider a picture of waterfall. You all know that the water descends vertically over a vertical cliff, due to gravity, maintaining partial contact with the bedrock. Waterfalls can also be useful for hydropower, producing electricity with the use of dams. And here is the second example, let's consider a pipe, one which has a laminar flow, and the other turbulent flow. In laminar flow, you can see the arrows are straight, but the middle arrow has its high velocity, and on the either side has its low velocity. And in turbulent flow on the other hand, you can see the arrows are curved randomly. This produces turbulence, it is dependable on Reynolds number. Now, if we vary cross section on the pipe to see what happens to the pressure and velocity of a water flow. First, with a bigger cross section, water flow is normal, that is low velocity, or a high pressure. If we reduce the size of a pipe's cross-section, the water flow will be of high velocity, or a low pressure. This whole thing is called a Venturi meter, based on Bernoulli's principle. Related to water flow, air flow is also used, such as wings of an airplane, will be its third example. So, by the next, we'll learn how to calculate the following flow rates. This video is about physics of fluids. Like, Comment and subscribe now.